Hello everyone, welcome to Deluxe Collectibles, and today I'm going to be reacting to Lego Ninjago Crystallize Part 2, Episode 1, A Sinister Shadow. I am super excited for this, of course. We've had a long hiatus between the first part and now the second part releasing here, but we've got it all at once, and I'm excited to go through it all with all of you here, so I hope you go on to enjoy the reaction, and without further ado, let's get straight into it here and start it up in 3, 2, one. Uh, this is child, interesting. Seeing uh, some Harumi flashbacks here. That's cool. Now let's that's see, how did Harumi make it out of this? It's gonna be interesting to find out. <gasps> that, that's like the, that's the Overlord's voice. <laughs> Overlord uh, stabbing Garbodon in the back here. He's just like, I'm just gonna dip. Uh, straight up resurrected Harumi. That's crazy. Not the best place to be back underneath all this rubble. Powering up Harumi. Ah, oh, that's cool. The glowing uh, crystal eyes. Oh, no. Crystallizing everything. <laughs> okay, that is so cool. You're the Overlord. <laughs> I have had many names. Dark Lord, Golden Master, Crystal King. <laughs> and yes, Overlord. Overlord. I serve you. End the conflict once and for all. You're on the wrong side of this, Harumi. I will serve you. <gasps> no! <laughs> As if we didn't already know this. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Going to Shintaro. We must postpone our negotiations. I have visitors arriving any moment. <gasps> oh, the ninja! Oh, this is right before uh, uh, Master of the Mountain. What visitors? It's crazy. The ninja. I control Shintaro in ways you cannot imagine. Man, Skull Sorcerer is so cool. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You better go hide, Harumi. <laughs> You're not in this season. It is with great honor, King That's crazy. That she was hiding right behind that throne. This is crazy how Harumi was just, like, Maybe essentially the stalking the ninja. <laughs> you were the mysterious Benchstone buyer we were trying to track? That's it, Lloyd. You should have guessed. The one that got away. <laughs> But what are you gathering all these villains for? Well, I needed enough players for my villainous volleyball team, of course. <laughs> are you serious? Of course I'm not serious. <laughs> well, it's hard to tell with you sometimes. I don't Poor Lloyd. normally fall for things like that, but I'm a little frustrated and confused right now. <laughs> well, I feel bad for Lloyd. the beginning of your frustrations. <laughs> no. No, I Lloyd. Zero interest Something in there that she wants. But I am interested in the weapons of Spinjitzu. I figured. Which are inside the monastery. Harumi! Harumi's making what? some good points I'm here. Some facts. To leave in a dramatic way. <laughs> There's something I Poor Harumi, you're messing it up, Lloyd. Come you on. You once told me you never actually had feelings for me. But my feelings for you were real. Pour your heart Why out, Lloyd. come for me? I did! Alright, Lloyd did. Harumi! Harumi! <laughs> but either way... <sighs> Damn. Okay, that's wet. pretty epic, Lloyd. So, Good on you. Now. Oh no, Mr. F. You are powerless, Lloyd. There's Poor Lloyd. You can do to stop the coming of the Crystal King, and Ninjago will finally find peace in the darkness of his rule. <laughs> oh no. Man, I feel bad for Lloyd. He is uh, not in an ideal situation. But I think we all kind of expected he was not going to be able to get out of there. At least not easily. So, that was really cool though. I love how they sort of like explored the backstory there. That was 
very interesting. I like getting to see that, like, um, where Harumi was all this time and that she was always there and was basically revived, like, almost not instantly, of course, but, like, pretty soon after, it seems, by the Overlord here, and that's, he's so intimidating right now. I love it when it's kind of, like, kind of reminds me of, like, in the pilots for Ninjago when Garmadon was just a shadow. Kind of makes me think of that, where the Overlord, of course, is not fully powered up at this point, which is, of course, how he always kind of starts out, like, and rebooted. All of, like, the startups of the Overlord are usually him in a lesser form, and then, of course, he has to have someone to help him, and this time it is Harumi, and that's gonna be really interesting to explore, like, what's gonna go down here, and, man, how are the ninja gonna find Lloyd, and I love how it's all tied together, though, in such a smart way. Really excited to see where it goes from here. It's definitely going to be a pretty intense journey, I can imagine, for all the characters here, so, and I'm still always hoping for Harumi to turn around and help the ninja. Who knows if that's going to happen, but... It would be pretty cool. I love Rumi as a character, and of course I love her as an antagonist, but I also just really want to see her help the ninja. Like, she's forced into positions, at least right now, where she has to help the Overlord, because of course he's the one who brought her back, but I don't know. I could see her maybe flipping over sides, but... I'm not sure at this point. So yeah, overall, a really great episode. Really enjoyed it here. Much more of a personal episode, more so than a big, epic, bombastic one. But I enjoyed that. A more personal touch here for Lloyd and Harumi. So yeah, and with some great comedic moments as well, which I love. So overall, great one. Let me know your thoughts on this episode down below in the comments section. Also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe as well if you want to stay tuned for future Ninjago reactions. Of course, we'll be reacting to the remainder of part two of crystallize so get excited for that but for now thanks so much for watching i'll see you all next time and always remember keep on collecting